Reese, I that play late in the game, I believe that was your first dunk since you suffered that injury. Yeah. Where are you physically? Are you all the way back or close? Um, I would say pretty close. It's still um, treating it day to day. Um, a lot of time with the E working, just strength and stuff. Um, just kind of stem work with it. So it's just a still day to day stuff, but I, um, it's definitely getting better. Yeah, yeah, it did. It's been a while, so. Um, yeah, just in our offense, being able to, um, you know, have the five guard me and uh, when I set screens for these guys, um, them kind of have to stick around the three-point a little bit more, um, opens it up for, you know, Reese got that uh, slip screen and then he went and dunked it like we talked about and um, Armand got a bunch of good looks at the rim. So um, stepping in at the five and kind of being able to just space um, in the in the offense um, definitely helped a little bit. And you had not had particularly productive games the last few times out. First half, you kind of looked like you didn't really have a place at times in the offense. What allowed you to, to turn it on? Was it the small lineup? And mentally, what keeps you kind of in the game when things aren't really going well early? Yeah, um, obviously the last couple of weeks, um, shooting and offensively haven't been the greatest for me. Um, but just continuing to, to work at it. Um, shout out to Johnny and Isaiah. Uh, they're in the gym with me every day, shooting. Um, and Everybody is always just telling me, keep shooting, keep shooting, almost to the point where it gets like, I got it, guys. But no, they, they stay on me. Um, and then, yeah, just to see that first one go in, um, got a couple of free throws. And then just, yeah, once you see the first one go in, the confidence goes up. So that was, that was fun. And is it always part of your pregame routine to be out there two and a half hours before tip by yourself shooting like you were tonight? Um, usually, uh, I do it in the practice gym, but just uh, wanted to change it up a little bit today and um, get some shots on the main court. So um, might have to make that part of the, the main routine now. Yeah, Reese, you just talked about feeling a little bit healthier. How big of a difference does it feel now a couple weeks out from when you had that injury to now where you're able to show some of that explosiveness on these drives? Um, it feels just... Um, I think part of it is just the confidence part in myself, just knowing that I have the ability to do that. So just um, just doing extra work outside of you know practice, just to kind of get the strength and the, um, the speed back as it was before. So it's just it's just a good feeling to have that back, and just over time, just the confidence to grow with that as well. Um, he's coming along great. I, since the summer, I've been always had a, um, high expectations for him, and he's definitely living up to that. So just continuing to see him, um, just to find his role with the team, I see it definitely improving. It's just a, just another weapon that we add, just being able to space the floor for other guys and just creating lanes for others. So he, he helps in a lot of ways. Ben, uh, got Carolina was up nine with about three and a half minutes left in the first half, and you guys were able to get it down to two. How much of a lift was that going into the break after a half where it seemed like you couldn't really get shots to fall as a team? Yeah, um, just getting that little momentum before halftime is, is, is obviously huge. Um, we had a couple of shots, and I think Kihei took a charge on the sideline um, across from our bench. Just those energy plays. Um, when, when shots aren't necessarily falling, if you're able to continue to do things like that, you just build off that. And I think we did a pretty good job of that going into the going into halftime. Ben, what was your defensive approach with Washington in the second half? He had 12 in the first and only one point after intermission. Yeah, um, they were trying to get post feeds um, early in the half um, on the block in front of their bench and just trying to force them to catch it away from the block. Um, so then I can have guys like Reese and Kie and iMac um, digging it out and give, uh, getting him to get rid of it. Uh, so just forcing the catch a little bit farther out and then um, just relying on my strength that I have. Um, shout out to Coach Curtis. Um, but yeah, those are probably the two biggest things. For either of you guys, I don't think there was a sub on your side for the last 15 minutes of the game. Was it because things were working, uh, and how how was the grind in the last? You know, because that was a pretty physical game. I definitely feel like we had like kind of just a rhythm going with the guys on the court at the time. We were um, 
kind of all in sync with the offense. We were running the way we were getting open shots. And it was definitely a grind towards the end. You know, everybody was tired, I feel like. So it's just um, we worked on hard a lot just off season, just for moments like this to be able to withstand those those long moments and being able to play those type of minutes. So it definitely, definitely paid off today. <clears throat> Lost Tony said that you weren't as blue collar as Pitt, and there was there was not the level of toughness there. But in this game, it seems like you go through contact, going to the rim. How good was responding like that and seeing a win like this? Um, it definitely was good to see that. Just the way that we play it all together, you know. Um, Coach Bennett challenged us this week to get back to our, you know, the way the we, that we know we can play, and kind of just um, Virginia basketball. So just in the future, just continuing to do that um, every game and just giving it our best effort is the best thing we could do.